Hi and welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordic with a short update to some new options available on the release of Signal View. So uh, let's start with doing some measurement and you can see what it's all about. So in the tab here, there's a return loss test that is available for those people who can buy it. And uh, this is applicable but only to RSA 500 series and the 600 series. So if you only have 306 and not interested in, in Speaking and you know impedance matching and antenna and cables you can just uh, stop watching and the other guys just follow me for a few minutes so I will start with the cable loss measurement I will just bring it in here and press OK and uh, then we go to calibrate and I will use what we call a factory calibration factory calibration is actually out the output of the unit so but for those of you who are not familiar, uh, all the options down here, we will only use one input. So if you look at this, there's RSA 500. So uh, on gain and loss measurement, you had to route from the output to the input. In this case, all the measurements we do, just this output, and we connect a cable or cable plus antenna to do some measurement or a chain. So for be, most people that are doing a transmission want to make sure that it's not too much power reflected or that you have a good impedance match. So of course my antenna I have is not that good. So, so this is from the beginning. So I will we'll add an, a little bit of a cable. This should be a pretty good cable. And uh, let's see what we can do measurements. Oh, if I just get it really tight here. So we're in here. And uh, the test that we're going to do is between 1 gig and uh, 3 gig. So immediately we get some readouts that the max and the min and the slope. So you can see that this cable between 1 and 3 is pretty good cable. Pretty, pretty good cable. I will now add a worse cable. And I have a few of those examples here, if I'm able to get this one off. So we, we go with a really bad cable, I have my demo cable, and you can see what's happening now. And now it's connected, and you can see immediately that the slope is like uh, minus 1 dB per gigahertz. So this have in this region is probably not a good cable at all. I remove this cable. And I add a little bit better cable. And you will be able to see that this also has a different slope. And the slope is down here. It's minus, minus 0.3 dB per gigahertz. And the minimum is always stated at minus uh, 1.62 dB at 2.750 megahertz. That's the cable testing. Cable testing. So the next one will be a little bit tricky because my antenna I have is really bad. But let's try it. So we did the cable loss, remove that, and we go to return loss and distance default. So same thing here. We start from the beginning again. And here we are at you know the parameters. So if you press this one here, same as usual, you get this kind of settings. And there's a DF tab settings, you know, cover distance, limit bandwidth, center frequency, method fast, there's the fast, normal, or high rest, depending how you want to do it. In this case, the method fast will give me a resolution of 80 millimeters, which is fine for this demo. If you go for high resolution, the resolution will go to 70 millimeters. But in this case, I don't really care. Because I, <laughs> nothing, I don't have good things to test with. So and we have this one, nominal side lobe or minimum side lobe, output level high or low. This is two options. And displays, we can look at return loss, standing wave. Or uh, distance to forward return loss, or distance to forward standing wave. So just a different way because there's a relationship in dB and the standing wave numbers. So I have some cables, and let's see if I can look at the antenna. So we look at the return loss right now, and we make sure that I go into calibrate and use the factory cal. Factory cal is like this, perfect. We auto scale and we can see that the minimum is 4.82 dB at uh, 4.5 gig. And I want it to be one part to one gig to three gig. That is probably more. 
rigging. Okay, and then I will add, remove this one, and I will add my little antenna. And do some tests and see if it's a good antenna. The matching is good. So here we are. This is my antenna. And now I will go and just to change the display to VSVR instead. So you can see this is probably not a very good antenna, and I know that from the beginning. In display 2, we can look at the return loss and distance to fault. So I will put in a, a cable again, change this one, and put another cable in. And you can do that either, uh, if I can get this working like this. So here you can see the stop, you can do an auto scale, and we can do the stop at maybe at 4 meters because I, I don't have long. So either you can do like this, you can look at it like this, or you can do it like this. And I, I like this a little bit better. If I auto scale this one and add marker to peak, I'm sure you you can see that it's 1.889 meters, and it's probably exactly what this cable is. If I change in the middle, I have a small connector here, and I want it to, to stop. Should be four meters. Thank you. Here, you will soon see. You know, when I move this out, that. Now this bad connection, I will move this. So this is the first instance of my cable. Mark it to peak, and you can see that that's a 700 millimeters cable. And then I add this one. But just adding a cable to it. I don't think there's too much to it. It's very simple measurements you can do. Um, but this is making sure, uh, making sure that you can do the distance to fault measurement. You can see if there's a cable that is, you know, on its way of breaking or, or broke and I hope you enjoy this short video. Thank you.